In the last couple of videos, we've looked at how to insert some date functions and some mathematical functions into Excel 2007. If you've used Excel 2003, you've probably noticed that the process is pretty similar. There's two main ways of uh, doing this that we've looked at. One is to actually type the function into a cell. And as you type, you get a range of functions pop up that you can use simply by double clicking. So if you want to use SUMIF, you can double click SUMIF and it puts the remainder of the words there for you to use. So that's one way, just simply typing. And the other way was to use the insert function button, which brings up the insert function dialog box, where we can dial up um, functions using the drop down menu to find the function that we want to use. It's all arranged in different categories. There's if, for example, and then OK. And then we can fill in the blanks in the box. So those two methods are exactly the same between 2003 and 2007. In fact, the only difference in 2007 is if we select the formulas tab. And then we can use these uh, predefined areas here in the function library to dial up the functions that we want to use. Selecting the insert function button is exactly the same as clicking this insert function button. Selecting these categories simply brings up the relevant functions in that category. So here's the logical ones, recently used, text, and so on and so forth. We've also got lookup and references, we've got maths and trigonometry, we've got even more functions there, date and time. If we use these um, library selections then obviously we can select the function that we want to use Let's select today if i click there it gives me information about that particular function and it also inserts the function into the cell and the reason we've got this box is that there's no argument required for this particular function in other words there's nothing needed inside the brackets. So we just simply click on OK and the function has been inserted. We'll look at one that doesn't require um, some arguments. Apply date and time again. Choose date. And this time it brings up the function arguments dialog box. And then the process of using it is exactly the same as if we had typed it or simply used the insert function button. So you can see there's very little difference between using functions in Excel 2003 and using them in 2007 in the way in which the ECDL Advanced Qualification operates. So rather than create lots of videos to show you how to use each one of those video, use each one of those functions in 2007, I'm simply going to point you in the direction of the 2003 videos that are relevant. So to access the videos that you require, we simply need to go to my channel on YouTube. So the channel we're after is the Ronzo Halo channel. And there's all my, uh, there's my channel with my playlists in. If I scroll down, you can see my subscribers. That's my channel. Okay. Um, there's various direct links to this channel available as well. Once we're in the channel, um, you simply select a playlist, and it's this one here, which is the Advanced Excel. Well, that sort of expands the playlist up, so you can see all the uh, individual videos are relevant to that channel. And you can see here that we've got the Advanced Excel 2003 playlist. Once we've got that open, we can simply look for the videos that are relevant to functions. Because remember, I said the functions work in exactly the same way. So there's the date and time functions. 
we've got the mathematical functions, statistical functions, date functions, sorry, text functions, lookup functions. You get the idea. So to use any one of these videos, simply click on it and that will open up in a player and um, show you how to use those functions. What you need to bear in mind always is the quality of the videos on YouTube is not as good as it is in the main learning channel. So you can always visit the, uh, the learning site for better quality videos. And there's the main site www.halau-ict-training.co.uk and all the videos are available on this site. Um, some of the courses cost, some don't. At the moment, we've got this fantastic offer where none of the courses uh, incur a fee. So you can actually get all the 2003 learning for free.